Just how safe is your password and how long would it take a computer to crack it and get all of your information? What I want you to do is check out this graphic from Statista. It shows the number of characters in the password. That's one through 12 and then the added options. Those are up here. That's like lowercase only at least one uppercase letter, one uppercase letter and a number and something also with the symbol. Now I would say chances are that most passwords that we use are about six characters and with all those things. Oh yeah. It's instant. The cracking is instant. Why is that? Well, cybersecurity expert Joseph Steinberg says we as humans, we're just predictable. It's a lot easier to crack passwords than most people realize. Humans have a tendency to create passwords in certain formats. So it's very common, for example, if a password requires a capital letter, lowercase, a number, and a special character that humans who speak English will put the capital letter at the beginning, then the lowercase letters, then the number, then the special character. Yep, that's how we do it. So how do we get to more of this five year mark or this 400 year mark, right? To crack the password. Well, part of the key is length. You're looking at 10 characters or more to get into that part. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. Some quick fixes for that. You may think of be using a phrase that comes to mind like to be or not to be 10 or my dog has fleas 31 with the exclamation point. Okay, so each one of these meet the requirements, right? They're long. They've got 15 or 16 characters, uppercase, lowercase numbers, a symbol. But Steinberg says these would be cracked quickly too. Why? Because these programs are trained to look for common phrases that we would use like to be or not to be or my dog has fleas. So then what's the answer for us? I like taking three unrelated words, names uh, or, you know, places, something that it, it would not be found in an English dictionary and, you know, combine those three words. Uh, if you really want to be careful about it, put a digit in between them. Okay, so remember a place, a name. This is my example. Throw in a number or a symbol in the middle. And the word that I used is Spanish, not found in the English dictionary. We've got all this in the two wants to know section.